welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to make a delicious appetizer. You know I'm a sucker for appetizers. And this one is a recipe that I actually adapted for another one that I had at the blog. It's a cheese log and you can also make it in a form of a bowl actually. It just depends on what you like most. And it has pomegranate, it has almonds, sage, honey. It's just really, really delicious with a bunch of crackers and with other types of cheeses as well. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this cheese log, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. We need to do a bit of chopping with the rest of the ingredients, so we're going to chop the almonds that I've already uh, toasted, and we're also going to chop the sage so that you can find it on different spots. Now we need to add the rest of the ingredients, so I'm going to zest this lime and pop it in here as well. Then we're going to add the pomegranate and the honey and give it a mix. Half of this mix is going to go into our cheese and that will, will allow the flavors to be all around. It doesn't matter if you get some crust or don't. Because this cream cheese is at room temperature so we can easily mix it in, uh, we need to form it into the log and freeze it for about 15 or 20 minutes just so that it's easier for us to then roll it onto the rest of the mix. To do this, we're going to use a double layer of cling film and try to shape it as a log inside and then with the pressure, we're going to form it into the perfect shape. Once again, we didn't get to record the audio for the ending, so uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like this recipe, and see you next time.